All right, so it looks like we got another update. Here you can see version version 2022.45.11, and it'll take about 25 minutes to install. So to begin, park your car, close your doors, you'll not be able to drive or use the touchscreen. Your alarm may be disarmed for a short uh, duration as well. Okay, so we're gonna push install now. You can see it says two minutes to start. Um, you can actually tap this, and there you go, it starts immediately. Okay, so now we just wait. Um, this is going to be a long process. Um, during that time, the car will make like noises, clunking, clicking, um, whirring sounds and other stuff. So don't worry about that. That's normal. But yeah, we're going to let it run. And I'll see you guys when the update's done. All right. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. And here you can see. It changed to updating autopilot driver assistance and dash cam disabled. Uh, do not drive until complete. All right, so up oh, the autopilot systems being updated. All right, and we'll be back in a bit. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. You can see it's still showing this. There was some very faint, like jackhammering sounds, but uh, other than that, it's still going. Alright, so it's been about 20 minutes, and it's still on updating autopilot, so keep that in mind if you're running this update. It's going to take a while. 25 minutes probably isn't going to be long enough. Alright, about 2-3 minutes later, you can see updating electronic control units. Driving and charging disabled. Do not drive until complete. So we're going to continue waiting. So a few seconds into this, uh, the car made a clunk sound, so it's like opening and closing, probably like ventilation ports or something underneath the car. And yeah, we're just going to continue waiting. It's starting to make some whirring sounds, like, I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, how many seconds, how many more minutes is that? Or about... Four minutes away from 30 minutes, so 26 minutes. Okay. Is that? Yeah, it's been about 26 minutes or so. Still says the same stuff, but it's just making different noises. Um, it also made some more clunk sounds after. So we're just going to continue waiting. Alright, about 30 minutes in, the screen went completely off. Um, it did make another clunk sound. But uh, yeah, you can see the screen is off now. And it's likely going to turn itself back on in a bit. But uh, I'm not sure how long. So I'll just continue recording until it comes back on so you guys can see. Oh, you can see the headlights are on all of a sudden. <clears throat> Screen still off. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, this camera has like a little infrared light. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Screen's still off. Headlights are on. I don't know what it's doing. I don't think the tail lights aren't on. So, yeah, this is a long process. Much longer than 25 minutes. So, hopefully. You don't start this right before you have to go somewhere where you're going to be, yeah, you're going to be late. And hopefully you didn't start it before, like, going some inside, like, a store or something. And then it ends up taking too long and you'll be stuck waiting for the car to finish. Headlights turned off. And the car should be starting up soon. Come on. There you go. And some buzzing sounds. Like a cassette tape rewinding or something. <laughs> Updating electronic control unit. Alright. And I guess we'll let it keep going. Dang, so it's already been like 40 minutes now. Updating electronic control units, driving and charging disabled. Do not drive until complete. So... Yeah, this update's taking a long time. Um, I think this is the new um, full self-driving update. 
So I'm excited for this one. I'm going to actually drive it around at night, let it do its thing just to see how it goes. And then I'll probably do some more driving in the daytime. This camera actually makes it look a lot brighter outside than it actually is. Um, the sky is actually much darker than what it looks like in the camera. So, yeah, keep that in mind. I don't know if I can... Wait, what? Oh, that's not the moon. That's like a reflection. Car just drove by. But yeah, the, the camera makes it look a lot brighter than it actually is. The sky's all really dark. Alright, so it finally changed. Finishing update. Driving disabled. Do not drive until complete. Alright, so we're going to continue waiting. And I think it's been how long? Let's see. 43 minutes or so? Yeah, that's a long update. Right now it says rebooting, driving disabled. Do not drive until complete. And yeah, it's about a minute or so later. The screen's completely black. Oh, now it's completely off. Wonder how long this will take. All right, it's on again. And once it reboots, I think it will give us the um. What is it? The, like, notes that show what's been updated. I forgot the actual term for it. Um, I think the release notes or something. So, alright. Rebooting, I think it will take about a minute or so. Come on. Oh, I'm tired. Oh. It's going to mess up my safety score because it doesn't like driving at late, late night after 10 o'clock or something like that. But, uh, I mean, a lot of times I usually drive after 10 o'clock, so I don't know. That safety score thing kind of sucks. It makes me get a bad score. Anyways, it's restarting still. It's been already over a minute. Probably rebooting several times to update things. Oh, screen just flashed on and off. That was weird. Alright, I guess it's still going. It still says rebooting, driving disabled. The lights, whoa. The lights went on down here. Okay. And there we go. Alright. We don't need that. We don't need copyrighted strikes, so let's not have that there. Okay. Where are the notes? There we go. It's taking a while. Okay, here we go. Full self-driving beta release notes. Okay. So we got this. We got full self-driving beta 11.3.2. Okay, let's read all of this. So you can enable full self-driving beta by tapping control, autopilot, full self-driving beta, Follow the instructions. <clears throat> Full self-driving beta uh, is in early limited access beta. It must be used with additional caution. You may do the wrong thing at the worst time. It's basically saying the same stuff. Uh, with additional caution, if, uh, it may do the wrong thing at the worst time. Oh, <laughs> so you must always keep your hands on the wheel and pay extra attention to the road. Do not become complacent when full self-driving... Um, is enabled your vehicle will make lane changes off highway select forge to follow your navigation route navigate around other vehicles and objects and make left and right turns uh, use full self-driving in limited beta only if you will pay constant attention to the road and be prepared to act immediately especially around blind corners crossing intersections and in narrow driving situations your vehicle is running on tesla uh, vision Note that Tesla Vision also includes some temporary limitations. Following distance is limited to 2 to 7, and autopilot top speed is 85. Let's go to the next one. Okay, here's the FSD beta 11.3.2. You can see, um, right, so now on highways, it's also using the beta. Okay, so it unifies the vision and planning stack on and off highway and replaces the legacy highway stack. 
So it's over four years old. Um, the old legacy stack. All right. Um, so the legacy highway stack still relies on uh, several single camera and single frame networks. Um, and was set up to handle simple lane specific maneuvers. FSD betas multi-camera. Excuse me. Multi-camera video networks and next-gen planner allows for more complex um, agent interactions with less reliance on lanes and makes uh, makes way for adding more intelligent behavior, smoother control, and better better decision-making. Improved recall for close-by uh, close cutting cases by 15%, particularly for large trucks and high yaw rate scenarios. Uh, through the an additional 30k 30,000 auto labeled clips uh, mined from f from the fleet additionally expanded and tuned dedicated speed control for cut in objects improve the position of ego in wide lanes by biasing in direction of the upcoming turn to allow other cars to maneuver around ego improved handling during scenarios with high curvature or large trucks by offsetting in lane to maintain safe distance, distances to other vehicles on the road and increase comfort, improve behavior for path blockage, uh, lane changes in dense traffic. Eagle will now maintain more headway in blockhead la uh, lanes to hedge for possible gaps in dense traffic, improve lane changes in dense traffic scenarios by allowing higher acceleration during the Alignment phases, th this results in more natural gap selection to overtake adjacent lane vehicles very close to Ego. Made turns smoother by improving the detection consistency between lanes, lines, and road edge predictions. This was accomplished by integrating the latest version of the lane guidance module in the road edge and line network. Improved accuracy for detection uh, for detecting other vehicles, moving semantics improved precision by 23% for cases where other vehicles transition to driving and reduced error by 12% for cases where autopilot incorrectly detects its lead vehicles, uh, vehicle as parked. Um, these were achieved by increasing video context in the network, adding more data to these scenarios, and increasing the loss penalty for control rele relevant vehicles. <clears throat> Extended maximum trajectory optimization horizon resulting in smoother control for higher curvature roads and far away vehicles when driving at highway speeds. Improved driving behavior next to row of parked cars in narrow lanes, preferring to offset and staying within lane instead of unnecessarily lane changing away or slowing down. Improved back to back lane change maneuvers through Better fusion between vision-based localization and course map lane counts. Added text blurbs uh, in the user interface to communicate upcoming maneuvers that FSD beta plans to make. Also improves the visualization of upcoming slowdowns along the vehicle's path. Um, chevrons render at varying opacity uh, and speed to indicate the slowdown intensity and a solid line appears. Um, at locations where the car will come to a stop. The chevrons are those, like, you know the chevron logo? Um, the gas station logo? It makes, like, a long strip of those to show, like, speed changes and stuff. All right? Improve the recall and precision of object detection, notably reducing the position uh, error of semi-trucks by 10%, increasing the recall and precision of crossing vehicles over 100 meters away by 3% and 7% respectively, and increasing the recall of motorbikes by 5%. This was uh, was accomplished by implementing additional quality checks in our 2 million video clips auto-labeled data, sheet, data set. Reduce false offsetting around objects in wide lanes and near intersections by improving object pneumatics modeling in low speed scenarios and adjusted position of automatic blind spot camera when FSD beta is active to prioritize the autopilot visualization, drag the camera to save custom positions. Okay, what's next? Over the air recall. So there was an over the air recall. 
which is basically an update. In accordance with a recent recall campaign for U.S. blah, 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 Tesla is making improvements to following specific behaviors within FSD beta, improved decision logic uh, to proceed through or stop at certain yellow lights by modeling the decision as a trade-off framework that <clears throat> considers estimated deceleration required to stop, time to enter and exit the intersection, and the distance traveled across the intersection before the light transitions to red. This should make yellow light handling more natural and human-like. Um, improved the longitudinal slowdown cr uh, control profile when when leading up to stop sign intersections to make the overall maneuver feel more uh, perceptible and natural. What else do we got? Okay. Um, improve the Tesla speed adjustment when entering certain speed zones by allowing for <clears throat> earlier control for detected speed limit signs, the assertiveness of the response when slowing down for Detected speed limit signs is determined by the current speed and its difference to the speed in indicated by the detected sign. Added a visual glow behind the speed limit icon on the user interface to alert the driver when the vehicle's set speed exceeds the detected speed uh, detected speed limit by more than 50%. Finally, the option for an absolute speed limit offset in FSD beta was removed, only the percent based offset will be available. Okay. Updated the behavior for certain scenarios when the Tesla may maneuver from a turn lane to continue traveling straight. These maneuvers will now be treated as a lane change where the turn indicator is used to alert other drivers of Tesla's intent of the Tesla's intent. Okay. Uh, as a reminder, the driver is responsible for vehicle operation. Even when FSD beta is engaged, you must constantly supervise the road, keep your hands on the wheel, and be ready to intervene to maintain safety. Okay, then we got full self-driving beta suspension. I think this is the same stuff. Basically, it resets the counter. If you want, you can read that. Oops. If you want, if you, want you can read that. I'll leave that there for a little bit. You can pause. Right, cabin camera, same thing. Um, now there's the cabin camera that you can view. Okay. Right, I think all of this stuff is like the same. There's Apple Music, Zoom meetings, all of this stuff was there before. Dog mode, information stuff. Okay. The light show. Climate control, fan speed. Yeah, this stuff has all been there. The MyQ garage thing. Auto turn signals and Mahjong, uh, phone call transfer confirm, contacts lookup, media controls. All of this has been there. Um, the emissions fart thing now, Rainbow Road, and yeah, so nothing else new. Um, let's see. So if we go to the software now, you can see I have over 20,000 miles on the car since March last year year yeah so i've had the car a little over a year now Twenty thousand miles here you can see the software fsd beta 11.3.2 2022.45.11 and the navigational data 2022.28.14046 uh, software is up to date as of march 19 6 12 p.m i don't know how i can have it check again because now it's the next day <laughs> because it's past midnight um anyways um that's pretty much it for the update i'm gonna do a full self-driving test now um that's gonna be on a separate video so look out for that one this one is just showing the update all right that's it for now and i'll see you all in the next one bye